Oh, you see that? That, my friends, is a fully grown onion. What a start to episode 13 of the 100% Valheim run. We have onions. Onion soup and wolf skewers. Two amazing pieces of food. Um, of course, I'm not really going to make them too soon because I, I'm going to use all my onions just to make more seeds and kind of... I want to get both both of these plots uh, fully filled with onions and kind of get that going since they're they're used a good amount. It's a really, really solid, renewable stamina food. So, let's see. It's 36 each. So that's 72 onions in total. Uh, math is hard. I started with 7, 21, 63. Yeah, so there'll be a couple cycles of kind of harvesting these and replanting them as seeds. Um, I'll get there. In the meantime... I've been making a little bit of a wall around the base. I'm feeling a bit more secure. It's really nothing fancy. I've just been going around with a stone cutter, and now we definitely have enough stone at this point. We have, like, two full iron chests to uh, make this surrounding wall. Um, and that let me take down some of the grosser fences around here, and now I'm building out our base here uh, just to make things a bit more stable. So, yeah, just some, just some chill Viking activities to start things off. Uh, I'm trying to figure out if I should build a dock and everything. Um, I'm going to have a little bit of time to kill uh, while we wait for these onions to go, so might end up doing that. So, uh, yeah, I'll just keep on chilling at home. Of course, if I get raided or anything, I will bring you guys in, but yeah, we will uh, try to keep busy and prevent ourselves from just staring at these onions and waiting for them to grow. But we have onions. Very exciting. Oh, I also made some... Uh, minor stamina meads. I think these could come in handy for the motor fight. Uh, I'm gonna bring some health meads and stamina meads. I would love to make medium. I'm only gonna make one batch of miners since I'm gonna assume I'll unlock medium soonish, but maybe that's not till Mislins anyway. But I think it can definitely come in handy if I just need a quick boost of stamina. So yeah, I'm gonna try to get better about using meads and everything. I feel like I'm always really hesitant to use those, and they can come very much in handy. They're not expensive to make. They could save myself from dying, which I would. Love to do. Okay, anyway, I will uh, keep on building and farming. Just want to take a moment to appreciate how beautiful this mountain is. This is so cool. I feel like I'm in like Lord of the Rings or something. We got this this big, big mountain, and then in the middle you got this like kind of sunken area. Like this would be such a cool place to have a little base. I mean, not functional because obviously you want to be. You want to have the high ground, but, uh, the motor, uh, what's it, right over there or something? Um, it's behind this tree over here. Yeah, I, so I'm just going through right now and just moving the eggs. I'm, I'm trying to think of things to do to, uh, make good use of my time while I wait for onion seeds to go. Um, but there was a structure over there and I actually got five more onion seeds, so, uh, progress, progress. But, uh, yeah, it's just a really, really cool mountain. And there was another egg over there, so I got some... Some more drakes down. Oh, looks like there's a, a lodestone over there. I want to go check that out. I don't think I've gotten the uh, the wolf lore yet. Hey, bud. Um, but yeah. Uh, oh, I got another trophy off that, I think. Unless it was just two meat. I thought I saw three items. Anyway, um, yeah, I can show you how things are going over at the base as well. Uh... I guess I probably started recording on and Oh, never mind. The egg's right here. Never mind. I can do this all, all in one take. I was like, oh, I'll have to go back and everything. Um, I've also just been marking more and more silver. This mountain is just absolutely coated in silver. I know what I said with bone mass, where it's like, usually you'll see a lot of iron around bone mass. That wasn't the case for us. We only got like uh, four iron. All right. Three eggs. We got three eggs in the chest. We're good. Um, but that definitely is the case for silver. All right, so we got this egg, this egg, and this egg. I think there's one over here I ended up not getting, just because I saw this one late. So, uh, yeah, let's go back. I can show you. I ended up making a dock, and I think it looks... It's okay. I'm not I'm not totally in love with it, but uh, you know what? It'll, it'll do for now. And the wall is now also totally enclosed, uh, so I, I'm feeling pretty safe. I, I think this will be the end of any annoying necks and bores and everything getting inside and kind of getting at my crafting tables and everything. I believe I spaced out crafting tables, so nothing should be able to spawn inside here. I hope that's the case. Okay, a couple more onions growing. That's good. Um, but yeah, so this is uh, 
kind of a little dock situation. I think last time I recorded, I just had kind of half half made walls, but I extended the walls all the way this way. So I know the enemies can be pretty annoying with pathing. Like they will try to get me and go all the way in, but kind of with the way that the dock is designed, they definitely can't get over this wall, even though it's, it's pretty low from our angle. And then we got a little dock. I think this should be, like I don't have the boat with me right now, but I think this should be wide enough for the boat to come in. Obviously, once we get the the Ashlands boat, that won't be the case, but we can cross the bridge when we get to it. Got a little uh, ladder in case we end up falling in. We should be able to get out pretty smoothly, although it's a little finicky. There we go. Um, I also hate that the stone kind of clips through the wood here, but eh, that's okay, whatever. I guess I don't necessarily need stone. And the roof is a little bit off-centered, but I kind of wanted to... Uh, I don't really know what I'm doing here. It, you know what? It'll get the job done. It's a little nice covered roof, and but the most important thing is that enemies should not be able to get in because this is far too steep of an area for them to go. they pretty sure they can't go up ladders. I hope not. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of what I've been up to. Uh, I, I think going forward, I might end up doing the cave. I'm kind of running out of uh, productive uses of my time while I wait for these onions, but we're getting there. I think it's like going to be one more round of seeds and then it should be boss time soon. But uh, yeah, that's kind of that's kind of where we're at right now. I've done the unthinkable. I was just trying to... Okay. Well, I killed one already, so I kill another. Bat raids are on the table. <laughs> uh, the uh, the boredom got the best of me. That is too bad. Yeah, I wanted to just do this uh, troll cave. Or not troll cave. <laughs> this frost cave just has something to do. Oh, this goes up, too. It's so cool. Uh, and yeah, I was trying to kill some wolves, and a bat got in my way, and I, uh, yeah, I, uh, unfortunately did the thing. Oh well, that's okay. It's just, uh, something that will have to be, as long as it doesn't happen soon while I'm trying to, like, get my initial excess of onions going, uh, that'll be fine, but that's a, uh, a little unfortunate. Is that? Oh, that is an elf. He was sleeping. Man, these things, the silver sword just tears these things apart. It is beautiful. Oh, well, you know, it was a good thought. It was definitely a good thought, but hopefully it doesn't cost us in the long run. Because I will be regretting that hard. Man, also, your inventory fills up so quickly in these things. Alright, I'll keep looting this thing. Alright, we have... Finished off the frost cave, and this garden is starting to look pretty full. Um, the latest batch of onion seeds is almost... It was pretty much filled up all, all up in here. A couple left over, but yeah, so we pretty much got a full patch of onions over here, and then... Actually, pretty much two full patches. Um, since I've been kind of finding more onion seeds here and there as I, as I explore the motor mountain, um, which is getting a bit more filled in at this point. <laughs> I laugh every time I see the amount of silver, it's just... It's so ridiculous. Um, then I think we're looking pretty good. Oh, I should also cross out that. Oh, I already did cross out the frost cave. Um, yeah, we're looking really good on Fenris stuff as well. Got 31 red jute, which isn't really used for anything. And then 80 Fenris hair, which... Is that Fenris armor made here? It might, it might need some silver, so I think it might be the anvil. Um... The Flesh Rippers are here. Am I not able to make the Fenris stuff for some reason? I need six Fenris Claws for that. Wow. And I'm so bad at looking at the uh, the different... Oh, yeah, it was literally right here. I'm so bad at looking at it when I'm recording. I don't know why. Um, so 20 and 20 and Fenris Hood. So it's 60. I do have a Cultist Trophy. Um, oh, this is resistant versus fire. That's I didn't know that. I wonder if that could be useful for the plains boss because I wonder if that stacks with the fire resistance potion. That's probably something to look into. Um, although, yeah, the armor is pretty bad. But yeah, so 60 needed for the first. So I'm going to need to do more. So I only have 80. That's definitely not enough to, uh, to upgrade it all the way to the full. So I'll definitely need to do more in the future. Um, but I guess I initially started recording because I have five onions that are kind of spares. I don't feel like making more seeds. So I think at this point, 
can go ahead and make our first batch of wolf skewers. And this is, I've tried to be good about collecting mushrooms because this is such good food and mushrooms isn't really something you can make a farm out of. So let me see how the mushroom stack is looking. Yeah, we're looking pretty healthy there. And then our amount of wolf meat is not that high either, but um, so I think using deer stew for just like doing not as risky stuff might still be a good idea. Um, but I think at this point, like, I kind of want to go heal the boss. Like, turnip stew isn't that much worse than onion soup. I think it's it's fine to just go through with uh, with these three things as our main food. That's going to give us a lot of HP, um, a good amount of stamina. I'm really excited to have wolf skewers. So, yeah, I, I think for just lack, I, I could, like, probably the right thing to do would be find other stuff to do until we have onions for onion soup and then go forward but i think i'll be fine um so yeah oh actually one thing i want to do i might want to train up my bow skill a little bit before i actually go kill motor um that is looking not that good where is it yeah level 21 so i guess i, I guess i just don't shoot things with bows that often so i'm thinking about like making a bunch of wood arrows and taking a fine wood bow and going to the spawner and just like shooting a bunch of stuff it's you get the XP from actually hitting something with a shot that has nothing to do with how much damage you do. So I think I'll probably be using a bow for a good amount of the motor fight, just because while it's flying around, I can't really do it. So just lowering the stamina usage and, and draw rate would probably be pretty nice for that bow. So I think I'll do that a little bit, um, probably for the rest of this day. And then, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys at motor. Let's uh, Let's do this thing. And just real quickly to show you guys how I'm training, I'm pretty much just spam clicking here to get off as much shots as possible. And yeah, it's it should be the same amount of damage for every shot I do. I guess we'll see if them throwing stuff is going to get annoying. But yeah, <laughs> hopefully you guys can't hear my mouse as I rapidly click this thing. But yeah, like I'm not doing any damage and this is just giving me a ton of XP. Um, so yeah, I'll probably just go through these two stacks of wood arrows, and, uh, yeah. Oh, the stamina goes down. Let's see. Oh yeah, I'm going through it. Hey, be nice. Be nice to my... I worked hard to make that wood. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of funny. Look at that, already up to level 24. We're cruising here, we're cruising. And I'm probably gonna have to repair the wood at some point. Okay, I'll see you at motor. Okay, okay. How fitting. We have a nice light blizzard. Nothing crazy, but uh, hopefully it's not too annoying and it just simply adds to the ambiance. So, I believe, yeah, we just uh, throw a dragon egg in each of these. These super, super heavy dragon eggs. And I'm gonna do frost resistance. I already ate to full. I got these two meads. Um, and I guess the plan is I'm gonna just uh, shoot it when it's flying around, and then once it lands, I'll, I'll throw on bone mass and start whacking it with a sword, and hopefully uh, that does the job. So, okay, three dragon eggs are in. Um, I just want to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. I guess I gotta upgrade my sword a little bit. No annoying drakes around or anything. Let's do it. We're going in. And I don't think I've ever killed this solo, so we will see uh, how she goes. All right, where is it gonna spawn? There it is. Motor is enraged. Did that? Uh, did do damage? I instantly saw just regen health. That's ridiculous. Okay. That's not so bad. Okay. This doesn't seem. I'm just glad she doesn't spawn anything. Okay, throw on bone mass and let's uh let's go to town. Get up in there. Wow, that is some shaking. Okay, stamina not great. I'm like caught underneath her. Wait, I can't move. Yeah, I'm doing some pretty good damage with the sword. She's not weak to spirit or anything, but I'm, I'm actually stuck. It's okay, I'm glad I got bone mass, so I'm not that scared of her swiping at me. 
Is she gonna be able to fly away or did I just like glitch out the fight or something? I didn't try to do this, but she like can't even attack me either. <laughs> uh, I remember Motor being a very, very glitchy boss, uh, and it looks like that hasn't changed that much. Okay, there you go. That was funny. Okay, and now... Oh, I also made some obsidian arrows. I don't think I mentioned that, but... Uh, ooh, the, the arrow aim is not there. Okay, just get out of the way. Okay, this is not nearly as bad as I thought. And yeah, it looks like she does take poison damage as well, which is cool. This is, uh, this is not bad at all. Yeah, so I wonder if maybe she was glitching out because it was like on the altar or something, so... Something weird with the code going on, who knows. Alright, she's down again. Okay, I actually did a decent chunk of damage. Was able to block that, that's good. And I do have the health meads that I can use if I get down. The stamina seems to be the biggest issue. It's okay, we have this thing. Now I can just go to town. Oh yeah, what are you doing? You're just standing there, man. Okay. Man, bone mass is just so powerful. I just hope I don't, uh fall down the clip of the mountain. Yeah, she does like nothing. I was considering making silver armor before this fight, but I was like, eh, I'll be fine. And looks like I was right. I am fine. Okay, off you go. Looks like she took down some rocks or something. So I want to prioritize kind of making sure I'm full stamina for when she, uh, when she falls down onto the ground again, because it looks like I'm going to be doing most of my damage while she's actually there. These things seem surprisingly easy. What is... What is up there? <laughs> what the heck? Yeah, I'm not even dodge rolling or anything. I'm just kind of walking, and she's got bad aim. All right, I just hope when she lands, it's in a not annoying spot. That will work. was that? Okay. Hey, Wolfie, not now. I will take your wolf meat, though. What is over there? I'm missing all my shots. Okay, that's what does a lot, but that's what I have the frost resistance meat for, because I'm pretty sure that stacks with the cape, so it's really not doing that much. Oh, I thought that was a melee attack. <laughs> Okay, she does that again, I'll have to dodge that. That's... that did what, 11 damage? Look at that. Training skills while killing the boss. 20 blocking. Right on the face. Ooh, yeah, okay, that's a lot. Alright, go take a little fly. Where are you going? The, uh... Arrows actually seem to be doing a good amount, too. Is that like 50 it did? Okay, you got me. Oh, that actually did a good amount. If I take another hit, I will use the... Uh, the mead. Oh, she's upset. I have been killing a lot of your babies. We're almost there. Okay, don't die from the tree. That did 9,000 damage to that tree. That's crazy. <laughs> okay, that's, that's a health need time. That, if I hit me, I think I would have been dead. Based on how much damage I was doing before. Almost there! Did my- Oh, my bone mass ran out. Okay, I was like, that did so much damage. Motor is in tears. We did it.
we got the dragon tier, which gives us the artisan table, which I'm pretty sure what that means is we can, uh, we can actually process black metal. That, uh, that wasn't as bad as I expected it to. That's kind of been the theme. Oh, nice, free obsidian. Thanks, motor. Thanks, mom. Um, cool. That was not bad at all. And we got these, uh, these logs in the way. I'll take this obsidian as well. Obsidian's definitely one of those things where it's like, I want to be able to use a, a lot of obsidian arrows, because needles are kind of, uh, oh, my, my, uh, my chest. Oh, well. Needles are a little bit annoying to farm. Uh, obsidian's probably a bit easier to get, in my opinion. Um, but there we go. That is boss number four down the drain. What are we on? Only episode 13? I think we're, we're going at a pretty nice pace. Did a good amount of durability on my sword as well. We got the trophy. We got the dragon tears. I think we only need one of those for the artisan table. Let's, uh, let's go home and check it out. Oh, and now the best part, no Drake raids. But we can have bat raids because of, uh, what I did. All right, so to make the artisan table. Oh, I can already make it. Nice. I guess I'll... I'll put it where this is. This is going to get replaced by Black Metal Forge, I think, but... Wooden Missile, Stone Oven. Oh, yeah, Stone Oven. And the Black Metal Forge in the windmill. So, yeah, this gives us ability to process black metal and to process barley and to process flax. Um, actually, did we get the, the spinning wheel? We might need something. Oh, we did get it. Okay. Um... So yeah, this basically unlocked, like, I was always able to go to the plains and get stuff, but I would have just gotten the raw ore, the raw flax, the raw barley, it wouldn't have done anything. Um, I'm gonna throw that uh, stone cutter back down to the basement. Oh, that's so nice. Looks really nice, too. Um, so yeah, this is, like, the actual, like, wooden missiles, I think I can't make a ballista thing until mislins, so... Actually crafting with this thing isn't gonna be useful, but the the functionality of like a crafting Station to build things with it is obviously what we're here for so Where is The black metal fort oh here it is yeah some iron cores and stone so yeah I think what I'll probably end up doing is expanding this out a little bit further I'll probably just make one black metal forge. It's not like we're processing like thousands and thousands of black metals, so I, I guess I could make two just just to have it. Um, so this will come out a little bit more, and that'll be fine that way. Uh, and yeah, I think from this point forward, it'll be planes time. I'm gonna. Well, I guess I'll do that. I'll extend that out a little bit and keep farming this up a bit because I think when we're exploring planes, we're gonna want best of the best food and works out pretty well because where our ship is right now and where our actually we have our temporary portal here where this is and everything this is all planes here and i i marked one village that i saw i think there's more there's a village over here as well uh maybe we go pay a visit to hilder just just for fun uh we don't really actually have to do that seagull you're scaring me um and so, yeah, I think, like, starting next episode, we can probably just jump right in. We can kind of stay where we were already, go to this village and start collecting black metal. Hopefully we find some flax and barley. Um, oh, I forget if I mentioned this. Yeah, right here, there's this, like, tiny section of planes that would be really, really easy to cover in crafting table. So I'm thinking this would be a really good location for a planes farm. And, oh, we have a little... I marked this? Oh, this, this works out really well. We have a little, uh, oh, this is the mountain we explored really quickly when we were coming down. We have a, a frost cave here as well. We might as well go. Um, so yeah, I think I'll probably eventually set up the plains farm here, but this will give us a really good starting point to collect a good amount of black metal, kind of test our strength in the plains a little bit. Um, and then last thing, how much silver? I'm wondering if I should upgrade my armor before we go to plains as well, but I'm feeling pretty good with this. I think we're going to get padded armor pretty quickly. Um, so I think I'm not going to worry about sinking the rest of my silver into here. Maybe I could upgrade my silver sword instead. or Oh, silver buckler is what I wanted to make as well. Um, but so, yeah, next episode I think we'll do planes. And then I'm also going to have to do some more <laughs> crypt exploring. Uh, but I think for the ship ride home, I want to fill up with black metal. 
and we can take it from there. But yeah, okay. It's enough rambling. Thanks for watching the episode. We've killed the fourth boss. We've killed Motor. I feel like we just did Bone Mass, so uh, this is cool to see. And our base is looking nice, too. We got onions. Everything's happy. Cool. So yeah, I will see you in the next episode when we take on the planes.